So, um, how often have you been in a situation where you've dropped your beer or your coffee into your remote control and you give it a wipe off and you're, you're very thankful that the thing still continues to work? However, a few weeks go by, possibly months, and then you find the odd switch uh, stops working. And this is what's happened to this remote here for me. Um, the temptation is just to go out and buy a new one, and that's a complete mistake because these things are actually quite easy to fix. And I'm going to show you how to do it. What you're going to need, though, is a pen knife, a pair of scissors, some contact adhesive, and some kitchen foil, this um, silvery kitchen foil. And here we go. This is what we're going to do. So the first thing you're going to do is to uh, remove the battery, and that's quite easy on this one. Clip the back, at, uh, the clip at the back, and out comes the whole battery compartment. Now most of these remotes are just held together by just little plastic tabs all the way around. Um, look out for some screws, you may find some, but this is where the pen knife comes in, into use. You use a pen knife like this, pop it into the slot, and just slowly ease the plastic apart. Very careful. Here it comes. And there's the uh, remote control. Got it apart. What we then presented with is the little circuit board for the control. And in this case, we can just pop that off like that. And inside, you have this rubber matting. Uh, the rubber matting is, uh, each one of the buttons on the rubber matting is coated with some sort of carbon or resistive um, film. And what happens is the, the coffee attacks this and um, effectively strips the, the, uh, the uh, resistive element off the back of the button. So let's see uh, what sort of resistance we can expect to see across these, uh, these buttons. Dabbing across. Like that, and I've got about 20, 17 kilo ohms uh, measuring there. This will get rid of all the residual coffee or, or beer that's on the circuit board. Um, you can use a little bit of detergent as well, it doesn't matter. These, all of this electronics is waterproof, so you don't need to worry about getting them wet. However, once you've uh, finished washing it, Make sure it's thoroughly dried. Use a cloth to get the worst of it off. And I've actually used just a, a blow dr um, hair dryer uh, just to blow off the rest of the water. So the next step is to uh, cut yourself some very small pieces of uh, tin foil. So, take the glue, dab a little bit onto the, the uh, button that's uh, broken, and then just press the uh, tin foil into place and let it completely dry. Then it's just uh, reassemble the whole remote and it should work.